Hello guys, I'm still working on this 1978 Chevy C10 truck. Goes by the name of Billy James. Billy James. Uh, just in case you didn't know, I'll, I'll tell you this. I try to I try to remember a li little bit of the story on this truck as it goes. But uh, Tim Dixon at Gas X Chop Shop, he is the one. He's the person that named this truck. Tim Dixon knows Billy James. It's an actual person. And uh, if I didn't tell you already, uh, just real quick, Billy James is a real person, and I named the truck after him. Even though I've never met the man, he was uh, on on Dale Earnhardt's NASCAR team or some, something like that. He was a driver. I'm, I don't watch NASCAR, to be honest with you, and I know that's not Southern of me, but I just don't watch it. I don't watch many sports at all, football, golf, nothing. Kind of like to watch baseball every now and again, but I don't even keep up with that, really. But uh, anyway, Billy James is a real person, and uh, he he used to own this truck. And uh, this truck was, uh, Tim Dixon, I think, was calling it uh, Billy James the Outlaw Truck. And the reason that is is Billy James used to outrun the law in this truck. And I've had my friend GM1038, just real quick, he used to chase him. Try if you know there's all the time after it's kind of like a Dukes of Hazard thing, I guess. I'm not really sure, but Billy James would uh he just to shorten the story. Billy James would drive this truck, and like I said, he was an like a NASCAR driver, friends with Dale Earnhardt and some of the big time guys in NASCAR, and uh still friends with him, I reckon. Anyway, uh, he would outrun the county cops and stuff in this truck. Not that the truck was that fast, but uh, he was such a good driver. And Billy James would get in this truck, as I've mentioned before, and, and uh, you know, jump, jump on ditches, run in fields, whatever it took. Tobacco fields, corn fields. It, Brian said it didn't matter. Brian, my friend GM Tim 38 on YouTube, check out his channel, GM Tim 38. He used to be a full time uh, police officer, and now he's part time. I think he works some on the weekends. Anyway, uh, Brian was telling me that whenever you had said when they seen him, and I mean got after him, uh, Brian said you better buckle up and hang on because it was going to be a ride, and most of the time he would get away from him. So. When I got the truck, there wasn't a straight panel on the truck. I know I've told y'all that before. You're probably sick of hearing it, but I do get some new subscribers every now and again, and I hope that you'll subscribe today to Primitus Best. Anyway, uh, that's my YouTube channel name, Primitus Best. Anyway, so I've replaced a bunch. I've replaced the doors, the fender, the hood, the bed, the tail, the everything. But it's still called Billy James. I, my wife and I had another name picked out for this truck, but Tim Dixon at Gas X Chop Shop, uh, named it Billy James because he knows Billy James. They're friends. And uh, and Brian knows him too. So, anyway, I didn't mean to get off on that. I know y'all have heard that several times, the story. I try to condense it each and every time. But anyway, Tim Dixon's the one that named it. He's on Facebook, by the way. I get people, uh, like if you're looking for Tim Dixon, he's in 10 Mile, Tennessee, and uh, he's on Facebook, Gas X Chop Shop. Axe is spelled A-X-E. Be sure to check out his Facebook page, Gas Axe Chop Shop. Pretty interesting. Uh, okay, getting back to this. I don't know if you can tell the difference or if you're a first time to see this truck, just look at it. Okay, this is what I've done. I bought some paint. I always rattle can everything. Bought some paint. And I try to do a little bit each day to some truck. I got this right here. A Rust-Oleum Clean Metal Primer. And it was the closest color to this truck that I could come up with. If you order the actual color, it's pretty expensive. They have to mix it up and all that. I know y'all have seen me do that with Tim Dixon's uh, 78, I'm sorry, 76 Chevy Blazer. And mixing up a couple of cans of paint that actually matches is pretty, pretty expensive. Especially if you're on a budget like I am, a retired so, I mean, uh, you're talking, well, I forgot how much it was. It's like $25 a can. 
I think. Might have been 30. I'm not sure. Somewhere along them lines. I can get a can of this for like six bucks. And so it, it's better for, for me and my wife to get something, can of paint like that. Anyway, I was going to show you. This is what the other side looked like. That's what I'm getting at. Tim put new rockers in and uh, done some patchwork on the cab corner. I'm going to show you this again just so you'll kind of know what I'm talking about. But I think it's going to match pretty good. I mean, we just, I mean, it's not perfect. But it looks pretty good. And I mean, it's below eye level. So, I mean, it's, it's not going to really stand out a whole lot. I can make some of these. Well, let me just show you. It's a pretty close match. I'm in the patina style, patina style shop truck look. So this is perfect. I mean, I'm just trying to make it look a little bit better than what it did. So this is what I'm fixing to tackle. And I just, like I said, I just rattle can everything and uh, try to make it look the best I can on my budget. And this is something that I just do. You don't have to do, well, of course, you don't have to do this, but this is what I do. And I just try to make trucks and cars look decent on a budget. I mean, you don't have to have bunches of money to do stuff that I do. I mean, I'm just, I like to say ordinary, but <laughs> that's probably not the case. I, I'm just a guy that's on a budget. I'm married. I got bills just like everybody else. And uh, so... Just playing around with these old trucks. Let me get at it. One more look. And then I'll show you what it looks like when I get done, okay? Okay, hang in there. Okay, guys, I got my tag on. I found my little push button thing. Uh, push. Push in things to put the screws in to put the tag on. This is a new bumper front and rear on this truck. And uh, I've done away with the, with the big bumper kind of like on this truck right here this ranger put the sport bumper on uh trying to stay out of the conversation or we got our <laughs> oh boy our we have a verizon for our uh cell phone and stuff i just got no flip phone myself because i don't have that many people call me uh and everybody calls me uh i mean i i don't have that many people that call me so uh of course they're going up on the bill like everything else my goodness i uh we my wife is trying to explain to the feller that's talking to her that uh we've been with verizon 21 years and uh i don't know guys everything keeps going up doesn't it everything when you're on a fixed income like me every every dollar counts so i mean it's uh all the stuff that you see like on this truck for example we had to skimp and save to get it. We're not rich folks. We don't have money growing on any of these trees. And uh, it's times is tough. I'm sure y'all know what I'm talking about. Anyway, we're trying to get our bill to somewhat stay the same as what we were paying. I've got an old flip phone and and she's got a, a smartphone. I'm, I'm not I'm not much up on phones. Of course, I'm using one now, but it's just my youtube phone and uh as long as i got wi-fi i'm good but uh golly everything's going up uh, sorry I, i'm rambling on now I've, i was talking about this truck i got this painted to me it looks much better doesn't have to be perfect doesn't have to be perfect i'm doing patina style on this truck so i kind of i was kind of doing an experiment in a way to see if the color i got at the store the rattle can paint would kind of match the rest of the truck i think it'll do just fine of course i mean i'm not going to pay 25 or 30 dollars a can it does it's just an old shop truck i'm real proud to have found i just walked right in the garage and went right to it just like my brain clicked and told me <laughs> uh you know hey you hung them up right here so uh, blessings from god anyway uh, i told my wife sometimes my brain doesn't work right and she <laughs> i think she already knew that anyway got my tag on i like that this is hunters from nashville uh, if you didn't know already 
I used to have a 67 Camaro is a 354 speed. It was a 353 speed, but I put a, a Muncie four speed in it. Pretty nice old car. I mean, it's decent for, for a Camaro. It's the only Camaro I've ever had in my life. And I traded it for a 71 C10 truck. Long story. I won't, I won't even get into it. Anyway, it's a factory black with a red interior. It turned out to be a really nice car. I traded with my friend that I worked with at the time and uh, done some trading around. His truck was a little, well, was a lot further along than the Camaro was. And so I just traded. Uh, those Muncie four speeds are high, by the way. I had to buy that one straight out and whew, boy, they are proud of them. Anyway, getting back to this tag, see how I get? Uh, Hunters, I bought a bunch of Camaro stuff from them for my uh, parts for my 67 Camaro and uh, got to where I know, knew the couple of guys pretty good and of course I get tags from them to put on my vehicles and this is one of my God, it's uh, kind of goes along with the truck, it's white and uh, of course you know the interior is red and I'm trying to stay out of their conversation. Anyway, interior is red on this and it uh, used to be blue. Like I said, this truck was this truck was left for dead. So I got that got that painted. I think that looks much better than what it did. I had just sprayed some old white on it last fall when I got the truck home from Gas Axe Chop Shop and uh just you know just to make it look a little bit more decent. But uh, I think the old truck's gonna turn out okay. Uh I'll be doing patina on it soon I already got started there a little bit but uh i guess i need to get off here and talk to the fella about our phone bill and see what we can come up with if there's any solutions every dollar counts when you're retired and like i am and uh you know people are kind of struggling and you know like i said we we don't go nowhere much because gas is so high and you know my from my social security I get is, you know, it's it's staying the same, but everything else has went sky high. So, you know, I, I'm sure y'all, if you're like me, you're kind of feeling the squeeze too. So it is what it is. You just grin and bear it and hope you can survive. And, you know, the Lord will watch over you. And, uh, you just try to remember Bible verses and, uh, you know, remember... Uh, that you are worth more than many sparrows. He even counts the hairs on your head, which I don't, <laughs> it's a small number for me. I don't hardly have any hair on my head. And what I do, I keep real short. It's just too dang hot. But anyway, appreciate you watching the video. I know it wasn't much, not worth talking about. And I didn't realize my wife was going to call Verizon and see if they could help us on the bill a little bit. So hope y'all staying safe. The Lord is in charge. And uh, he knows what's going on. Like I said, if he, if he can count the hairs on your head, put every star in the sky, hang the sun, hang the earth, and all the planets, every blade of grass. He knows how many grass blades are in this yard. I mean, there's nothing he doesn't know. So a Verizon bill, hopefully he will help us with the Verizon bill a little bit. <laughs> Hope he's helping you too. Be sure to pray to the Lord, would you? He is good. And I'm awfully proud to be made in his image, and I'm sure that you are too. God bless each and every one of y'all. You're watching Primer His Best on YouTube. If you'd like to subscribe, I'd appreciate it. I'm also on Facebook, Primer His Best, Instagram, Primer His Best. I got a second YouTube channel called Man on a Budget, and I'm on Instagram, Man on a Budget One. I'd appreciate it if you check me out. Please like and subscribe. Tell your family and friends. Leave a comment if you would. Tell me you're on board. I enjoy making new friends, and so does my wife. So, uh, I mean, when you're staying home, it's kind of cheap entertainment. I mean, if you can make some friends on YouTube and stuff, I hope you feel the same way as I do. God bless each and every one of y'all. Every one of y'all, sorry. It's a beautiful day today. Humid and hot, but I'll take it over wintertime any time. God bless y'all. I hope to see you in the next video. Stay safe. God bless you. See you later.